Nina with Uniquely Designed Health Coaching, and today I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how you can make your own almond butter from home. So I've got, these are my favorite almonds. These are actually um, sprouted almonds, um, so they have a little bit more nutritional value and they're also a little bit better for digestion as well. So these are um, activated transitional sprouted almonds. I get these from Thrive Market. They're one of my favorites. Um, and then I also have, this is coconut oil. This, and just so you know, this is six ounces of almonds. This is about a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil. And then I have some op optional add-in ingredients. I've got cinnamon and some organic vanilla. So those are my optional ingredients. What I'm going to use today is just a Ninja, um, I forget what it's called, but it comes with this new like smoothie cup, which is nice for making like smoothie bowls, but you can totally do this in a small like at home blender, as long as it's a powerful blender. You can also use a food processor. So I, before I had this nice little gadget, I used to use a food processor. So you can totally do that as well. So you have lots of options. You don't need to go out and buy some new piece of kitchen equipment. Just use your blender. Okay, so this is real easy. I'm just gonna open this up and throw in the almonds. So I used the full bag, and again, that was six ounces of almonds, which um, is just a, a little over a cup. Um, so in, for liquid, eight ounces is a cup, but whenever you have something bigger like this, this is about a cup and a half whenever I measure this out. And then I'm going to put in my tape, about a tablespoon and a half of, this is just organic um, coconut oil that's usually solid, but it's kind of warm, so it has uh, liquefied. So I'll put that in. And then um, for optional ingredients, I usually put about a teaspoon of vanilla, if I'm gonna use vanilla, a half, about a half of a teaspoon to one full teaspoon. And then um, for cinnamon, I'll do like a full teaspoon. And I didn't bring my, my uh, teaspoon to measure, so I'm just gonna dump some of this in. That's probably about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. And you don't have to put anything in at all. So now we're just going to screw the lid on here. And this part's gonna get kind of loud, but for this particular blender and using this, um, it actually has a top that you crank and then that helps to incorporate things. So I'm gonna hit this button real quick. It has a spread button. Okay, so then what you can do, this is, I would say, about the consistency of crunchy almond butter. Um, what I like to do is I will run this for a second cycle because I do like a creamy um, almond butter, but it also depends on what I'm doing. If I'm gonna make like oatmeal protein bars or something like that, I'll just leave it coarse ground. Um, so it's more of like a chunky version, but if it's gonna be something that I'm using in smoothies or something like that, I typically run it 